side uh, cylinder head right here. I've got one of the uh, valves out and springs, which I put over here. Um, there's a spring compressor tool. I'll show you how to use that here. Okay. So we want to go down on the spring as far as we possibly can here. Get it lined up as best we can. Okay, that might be enough. I'm not quite sure yet. So we'll put something under the valve on the bottom here to hold it in place. That way the valve doesn't move up and down. And we just want to lightly tap it here on the top to break the valve loose like that. So it's loose. And then there's these little keepers in here that need to come out. There's one. There's two of them in there. have the valve out here which we're going to want to visually inspect the mating surface here for the valve and obviously uh, here too for any kind of scoring or damage make sure that they're okay Thunderhead cleaned up and we're going to be uh, installing the uh, the new um, <coughs> valve guide seals onto the cylinder head. Now let me show you about the valves and what you want to look at here um, to make sure that they are in good condition. As if you look at the taper surface right here, that's the surface we want to be inspecting when inspecting the valves. Let me get to focus here. So as you can see, it has a really nice, smooth, tapered surface. It doesn't seem to be uneven or worn. So that's what we want to look for. Make sure that the surface, that mating surface that goes into the cylinder head is nice and smooth all the way around. We also want to check for warpage or anything or any kind of scoring up and down the stem itself, the valve stem here and that kind of thing and obviously if it's been burned or scored or anything else I mean uh, you can see it's heat treated that's why it's black right there so we're gonna go ahead and install uh, some valve guides uh, seals here and what you want to do is you want to lightly coat these with oil and the actual um, valve stem guide itself you want to go ahead and coat with engine oil so that way um, you know, it'll be all lubricated up and everything. So that's what we're going to do next. We also want to inspect the cylinder head as well. Uh, make sure that the mating surface is smooth and tapered properly with the proper uh, seal. And you'll definitely be able to tell usually if there's a, a different kind of um, wear mark or anything else because it won't be symmetrical all the way around. There will be problems and issues. Uh, if there is some slight uh, differences between the valve and the where it sits and seats and everything, uh, you'll want to go down to the auto parts store and get some lapping compound and stick it on the surfaces here and then on the valve and then stick a drill on top of the stem here and turn it 
while it's inside the uh, while it's inside here like this so that way you want it to go all the way up against the seat and then spin it like that and it'll reseal it so if there is any problems when you rebuild the cylinder heads on anything that's one thing you want to look for all the uh, valve springs retainer clips and everything back inside the cylinder head and the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and examine the mating surface to make sure it's not warped uh, or uh, or anything like that so what you want to do is you want to get a straight edge a metal straight edge like a either a yardstick or ruler something similar to this here and you want to move it around on the cylinder head in all directions to make sure that it's level and that it doesn't rock back and forth at all and you also want to make sure you want to make sure that you uh, uh, do this to the mating surface um, on the cylinder head itself here and make sure that it is square and level and you want to go up and down with it and all around make sure that it is nice and level